Hello guys and welcome to the next episode of Transport Fever with me, Biffa. How are you today? Lovely to see you. Why is everything blue and green and yellow, you may ask? Well, I want to teach you something about catchment areas. For me, the penny has just dropped and I want to share this knowledge with you. This is something that uh, you will really need <laughs> if you want things to work smoothly. So I'm looking over here thinking... Why is there such a build-up of fuel? Because my city here, this is Todd Morden down here. Uh, there we go, Todd Morden down here. And it's saying that there is, it's not taking all the fuel, even though it's saying that it's only 53% um, coverage of cargo demand. You think, well, surely they'll be taking more. What are they doing? What are they playing at? Well, in the list here, we can see we have green for population. Blue for shopping facilities, green, blue, and yellow for jobs. These jobs, or the industry, as we can see down here, if we turn this on, they are the ones that light the fuel. And if we look at our, there we go, Todd Morton Halt, this is where our fuel is coming in. Look how much of the yellow that it's covering. I would probably say that is about 53%. I, I'm sure that that's what that means. So if I covered all of this, we would sell even more of our fuel. So we're going to give that a test. Let's give that a test. Let's put in a truck station over here, which is hopefully going to cover all of the yellow. Let's put that in. That will cover all of the yellow if we put that in there. So let's add that in. And we're going to change our fuel line. So let's bring this one up here. And look for our fuel. Um, Todd Morden, it's Todd to Todd Fuel, I think it's called. Todd to Todd Fuel. There we go. So we want to take out Todd Morton Halt. There we go. We want to remove that one. And we want to add instead of this one. There we go. So hopefully that's kept all the vehicles assigned to it. It has. So now if we look at this one here, let's close that down. There we go. We can see that is coming to here. Let's speed this up a bit and go into up there. So that should already has gone down. <laughs> but that should change this up here, I'm hoping. But that's definitely covering all of our industry. And I would imagine, I don't know how this is going to work, but as the city grows, I would imagine then that that's going to start building more industry around here, perhaps. Let's look at our finances. That one's going okay. Let's keep an eye on that one as it's changed and see what's happening. So the other thing it's got a lot of is oil. Um, where is our oil going to? Our oil is going up over here. Oh yeah, back to where the plastic is being made. Oh, I'm just wondering actually, we were talking in the last episode why the wheat production stopped. I think it's using just the oil to produce that. I wonder how that works in the game, how the game... I'm, I'm questioning everything as I go along, because I want to know and understand. So it's having oil being bought in. It's having wheat being bought in. Uh, grain. I call it wheat, it's grain. It has a lot of grain. It's always got that grain stored, and the potential's a lot lower. I think it's using oil, because that's top of the list. And it's probably... Is it getting it quicker? I wouldn't think it's getting any quicker, but because the potential of this has dropped all the way down. So to be honest, I don't think we need this wheat run going along here, do we? Because the oil's going here, and that's being used. Okay, so I tell you what we're going to do is the grain, which is that one there. We are, because it's not making any money at all. We're going to send all, we're going to, can we just send all vehicles to the depot, depot and sell on arrival? Let's do that. Let's get rid of that line. Oh, a Daimler top seater. A new bus is available. Excellent. And hopefully that will help. Uh, how much plastic do we have? 40 plastic. Plastic still going nicely. There's my ship. Still making lots of money. Oh, it's making even more. Because I think the last time it went, it had 90 out of its 100 load. Perfect. Okay, let's keep that one down there. So, let's have a look at Frodsham then. So, we are sending our goods, aren't we, that we're making over here, over to Frodsham. We did that last episode as well. Let's check the catchment area. So, goods here, if we check, need to be in the shopping facilities. There we go. They've just arrived. It says we are covering 15%. So, if we click on this... We are covering, I don't know, that's more than 15%. That may go up as more goods arrive. 
Look, he's got more. 13%. Okay, that's gone down a bit for some reason. So this 11 out of 84. Cargo demand. Coverage of cargo. I'm not sure what that percentage of coverage there relates to then. Because we're definitely covering. I would say 90%. 95% of all the shopping facilities. It's going up again. So maybe that will keep rising. We'll keep an eye on that. Look, this has gone right up to 61%. That is fantastic. And we're nearly filling the demand. So catchment areas play a big part in all of this. Lots of stuff going on there. So I'm wondering whether we could do with sending more oil over here then. It's only got 24 stored. I mean, a train to run backwards and forwards here with oil would probably make a lot of money. I don't want to overload things. Let's just see how it goes. Has all the trucks been sold from that? Yes, they have. Let's delete that grain line then. There we go. So, the only things that aren't making us money at the minute are the are these passenger routes. Uh, the plastic transfer, that's fine. So let's have a look at our passenger routes. Yeah, with bus routes, I'm not entirely sure whether you need to sort of set them up in a way... That would make sense to me like people need to go to work people need to go to the shops people need to come to the train station um whether you could set up a bus here that covers this area to the train station a route there to the shops a route there to work but then you're going to want one from commercial to the train station industry to the train station and population or the green area to the train station residential whether that's the way it works I haven't played around enough with that, but I know, I mean, even though we're losing money on our Dolverton passenger, you know, bus routes in the middle here, um, our actual train is making a million, and we're getting a lot of people over here. Where is our train, by the way? Here it comes. Um, do you know what I need to do? I need to just delete this, because that's in a stupid position. We can't get on that either direction. Let's change that. We need to put that in. Let's see. Let's put that in the middle here. Because if I need to upgrade... Uh, this is the one we want. If I need to upgrade my train at all, we can't get in from both directions, which is a bit silly. So if we just stick that there. Get that to line up there. And that's fine, isn't it? Yep. Get the snap point. Go on. There we go. Excellent. So that can come in from either direction and we can upgrade that. Because we're not taking all the passengers. We've got 85 waiting there. And it's going all the way over here. Now what's interesting is, is we don't have bus stops. Oh, we do have bus stops here. What we're we talking about? And we have a lot... Oh, what have we got here? 50 waiting here. What is the capacity of my train? Let's have a look. It is 42. So yes, we do need to add more people in. Is there an easy way to get this? To go to the depot without losing a load of passengers? Hmm. Dolphin to Todd Morton. Let's just pause this a sec. Can I add this? No, I can't. Yeah, see, that's going to leave there with a whole load of passengers and then I'm going to say to him, go, it's dropping off the passengers, let's see. There we go. Before he picks up any more, yeah, let's get him to come across here. And we're going to upgrade him with, how many have we got here? 91. So I'm wondering whether we've got any better trains now. Let's have a look. I think that is, what is this one? Mm, top speed 62. That's this one here. That's 56, 47. That's still the best train. But we need to add some of these on. Okay, let's get this guy in here. I think he's got these ones here that hold 14. Or oh, these hold 17. Standard open coach. Loud rumbling. Thunderbox. 112k a year. 92k a year. 62 mile an hour. I think these are probably... Yeah, add another couple of these on. So... How much can it actually take? <laughs> I don't know how much it can hold. What does it say? 
Weight, 76 power, running cost, lifespan. I'm not sure there's any information here that actually tells me what it can pull. 182 tons, it says there. So what's the weight of these? 15 tons. So that's the actual weight of it. So that's what it's up to at the moment. Okay, well let's set this one to that one again that it was on. Let that one go. Still moving okay, okay. There it goes, no passengers. What we're going to do is we're going to turn that one around. There we go. Come back and collect all the passengers. 34, 36, 37. Okay, so hopefully that will start picking up. Let's see. Shut all the windows. All the passengers that are waiting here. Still 38 waiting. Seriously. Oh, then again, it was paused for quite a while, wasn't it? 70 of 70. How many waiting at the other end? Quite a lot. 77. So it's better. It's getting better. <laughs> okay. That's good. Well, maybe we do need another train line. Have you heard that noise? I'll just get the bucket. Going between these two to take the oil out of there. There's still so much fuel. I wonder whether we could take that fuel somewhere else as well. What about up to Bushy? I mean, that would be a nice, simple... Do we have a road going to Bushy? We do not. Let's put a road to Bushy. And send some of our fuel there as well. We've got so... That is really weird. There we go. We've got so much going there. Let's upgrade some of these roads. Go. Upgrade. Yes, please. Yes, might as well do that whole junction there. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Go on, you can do it. Terrain alignment collision. Darn it. Oh, that's annoying, isn't it? Is that... Could it's colliding with there, isn't it? I don't think there's anything I can do about that. If I delete that piece of road... Huh. <laughs> Yeah, that'll probably work. <laughs> okay, there we go. We've wiggled around it. Let's upgrade the rest of these. And that one, and that one. Do you know, we should upgrade. We should upgrade all of this, shouldn't we? Get these guys going faster. There we go. Trucks into town. Right, so let's set up another route then to Bushy. And remember how we want to do this. We want to make sure that our fuel covers the yellow area, the industrial area, which is here. So let's grab another truck station. So that would almost get everything. What about down the side here? That would almost get everything. I want it in the middle here. I mean, if I... I'd have to destroy a building. But that would, like, cover everything. Where's the place I can put it with the least destruction? Look, this small building here. Two buildings destroyed. Oh, someone's building up. Look, they know I'm going to come in and build here, and they're building up. I think we're going to just plop it here. There we go. That's going to cover everything. So let's have a new line. That's going to go from Bushy all the way down. Oh, I wish the end of year wouldn't Make it jump like that. Oh, here we go. Excellent. To here. So that's Bushy to... Uh, Todd. Let's delete all of this. Todd to Bushy fuel. There we go. Let's get our... What should we go for? How many... How many should we do? Let's do four. One, two, three, four. There we go. And they can be the Todd to Bush fuel. And there they go. Let's close that one down. I'm picking up the fuel. What have we actually got in here? 46. 47. I'm hoping that will sort of even out. There we go. Be interesting to see how much money that route makes. 
Let's actually keep that one open. So we can check that. And then the, the oil. We've got so much oil. I, I'm wondering whether we could move this a bit quicker. Because how fast were the... What trucks have we got here? We've still got the horse and cart things. Good grief. We seriously need to upgrade some of these, don't we? We seriously need to upgrade. Uh, where's the nearest place I can buy trucks? Let's just have a quick look. So we're using... These things, capacity 6, top speed 12 miles an hour. We could go to these, top speed 25 miles an hour. Okay. What's going to be the easiest way? What are these ones? Oh, these are the ones, the oil. Right, okay. So, send all vehicles to depot. And then we're going to upgrade these. So, they're going there. They're going there. And they're going there. I'm just wondering, actually, while these guys are going backwards and forwards, let's have a look at our oil line. Oh, let's slow this down a minute. I think they're all back. Oh, nearly. Replacement. Worn or replaced when the vehicle age reaches the following lifespan percentage. So we could actually drop that right down to 25%. Uh, where are some of these ones that are running back? Down here somewhere. There's one there, look. Let's click on him. Oh no, it's not. That's a car. There we go. I just want to see. Oh, he's doing crude oil. We can change those as well. How old are they? Age 20 years. 26%. Oh, that's the value. So there's no easy way of seeing just by looking at it. Yeah, it'd be nice if there was a nice age thing we could look at straight away. But there we go. So is that going to automatically upgrade those now that I've changed that? Replace vehicles automatically, yes. Replacement vehicle not set. Set vehicle, no vehicles online. Uh, replace vehicle. Vehicles reaching their lifetime replaced with this vehicle. Okay, so it's not like an automatic upgrade of that vehicle. It's a total replacing of it. So, I mean, can I do that here? Automatic... Oh, I see. Oh! Now that's interesting. Okay, well, let's upgrade. Oh, no, that's the depot. This must be an easy way to upgrade vehicles. Well, until I find another way, I'm going to do it manually. We're going to have three, three new ones of these. One, two, three. We are going to sell that one that one and that one and we're going to set all of these to oil there we go so they'll go off and do that yep that's fine and then when the other ones get home let's get this going again uh, is there any coming in here they come they're all coming in and these are coming in here as well I think we've had all of the ones from here I'm not sure Yeah, maybe. I think that's it. So let's upgrade these ones as well then. Let's buy another one of those. We'll sell this one and set that to oil. And off he goes. And we'll do the same here. I'm hoping soon we're going to get more freight trucks and stuff. So let's sell that. Let's sell that. Let's set line all to oil. And off they go as well. So I'm hoping that's really going to help. The only last thing to do is... Where are we? Kesgrave is upgrade this road. Because at the minute, they will do 25 miles an hour. And this road will not. We want to upgrade it to this one. So let's have a look. Let's go. It's going to cost us a bit. A pretty penny. But it's going to be worth it. Sure that junction's done. So I covered the whole thing. Yep. Nice. There we go. I'm just wondering whether to upgrade some of these terrain collision collision. Alright, we'll come back to that one. Oh, the flying Scotsman. Dornier Merker. Nice. Okay, what have we got coming back here? Yeah, we definitely need to upgrade these roads as well. 
Let's do as much as we can. Oh, there we go. Nice. That's done that. So where's that guy going? Oh, he's going into here. No, that's fine. Um, these don't need to be upgraded because nothing's really going that way at the moment. Okay, that's fine. And what other... Do we have any other vehicles that could do with being upgraded? Or is that all of our trucks? So trucks, trucks. Crude oil. Yep, the transit. Trucks and the transit. Yep. Oh, no, hang on. These are the ones, aren't they? Yep, let's send all these ones back. Uh, we'll do that for the whole line. Send those home. Okay, there we go. That is all the roads upgraded. And that is all the trucks upgraded. I think we've pretty much got everything. Yeah, so we've lost a bit of money because obviously there's been pause in while we're working at what we're doing. But that should be getting everything back to normal. And for some reason, we seem to have some goods here, do we? Fuel, fuel goods. Mm, I don't know where those goods are coming from, but there we go. Not bringing goods from over here, are they? They shouldn't be. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know where the goods are coming from. I'm not going to come from there. But anyway, so that's upgraded pretty much everything. So that should really have helped with our income. So we need to keep an eye on our lines. I mean, we're up to 12.6 million. I mean, I could pay back. I could pay back a load of my money. What have I got? Six million loan? I mean, we could just pay back all of that. There we go. And just make profits from here on out. So let's see how this goes. That's it. We are now making money on all of our lines everywhere. Apart from the passengers. I'm going to look into that a bit more. And the Dolverton plastic transfer. Well, we know that's fine. We know we're not going to make any money on that. But, oh, I'm so pleased. Oh, my goodness. There's so much plastic waiting here. 75... I'm so glad everything is working. So next, we're going to try and grow some of our cities because Todd Morton that we've got over here and Bushy, I think that's another good one that we can try and aim to try and grow these. And we want to try and fulfill as many of their needs as possible. Let's close that down. So Todd Morton, what else do they need? Well, we're covering the population with transport. Mediocre because of the train. Maybe we'll try and cover more of that. They don't have any finished goods yet. Uh, they also need bricks. They also need machines. There's a lot of different things that we can be working on. So maybe we can do that. But we are making so much money now. There we go. We're only in May. We've made 1.46 million. That's easily going to go up this year. I think this will be our best year yet. Where's our ship? I wish our ship was a bit quicker. <laughs> We've had some new trains and things we could purchase as well. So we'll probably look at some of those. Guys, don't forget to hit the big red subscribe button on the screen. The one with the tea stain. You know it. And I will see you guys very soon for the next episode of Transport Tycoon. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.